the big men are sweating today. Hey YouTube, Andrew and I are going to be planting a, a little plot today. It's going to have three numbers that did really well for Champion last year in the Iowa First Trials. Uh, it's going to have a couple uh, not conventional corn numbers in there. And then it's going to have some GT27 and uh, some enlist beans put in there as well. Because if I put the enlist beans and the GT27s in the plot that's going to go in across the road, uh, which are dicamba extend beans and I spray that plot with dicamba and extends it will not get along with uh, the GT27 and the enlist soybeans and then I also can't put the conventional corn into this plot out here which is the 11 hybrid champion plot because if I spray it with roundup it will kill the conventional corn so Andrew's over here getting the population set on the planter for what we're going to be doing I'm gonna have to get some oil soaked because this planter's taking a piss on my floor. <laughs> so this is a 800 cyclo air seeder, air planter. So this air gets put out here in these little drums and, uh, and then just goes out here into the row units and then it goes directly into the ground. There's really no like meters. Well, I guess that big drum's technically the meter wouldn't it be? So. So. So it does not have a monitor because it's not hooked up. We're not going with any markers here today. So we're going to rely on Andrew's expert driving to get us good straight rows. Um, we're going to have some fun. That's the second number that's in. There you go, boss man. Explain what you're doing. Well, I'm taking this drum out off to get the seed out of it. This high-tech planter. It's pretty simple. Take that off and you pull this off. And there goes the seed. So the next seed is 64A15 Drought Guard, and it actually won the first place for Champion in the Iowa First Trials, the later hybrids, later maturity hybrids. So I technically very carefully scared, scaled that out and put it into a grocery bag. So right now he's trying to set the population. I would help, but this this uh, planter's a little something that I've never dealt with. It's high tech. I'm used to the high tech stuff here. Oh. Getting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is high. <laughs> He's got himself his chart. <laughs> I don't have a sprocket that big. We're gonna have to change our sprocket. What, what, what sprocket are we gonna have to go? What's the population uh, we can get to? As he's changing that, we'll take a quick look at the difference between the two drums. 
This here is the corn drum and it has a lot less holes in it and not every single one of them are uh, poked either. They kind of go in a pattern I guess you could say. And if you go over here to uh, this drum it has a lot more holes in it and as it comes around it pushes this air right. Air pushes the seed into these holes and then it gets to this apparatus. It's just technically called. Does it got a technical name? I just call it the wheels. The wheels. And that breaks the seal, which allows it to drop through and get blown out into the tubes. First number that we're putting into this plot here is a, is a GT27 bean. And a GT27 bean is a, a GT27 bean is Roundup ready and Liberty ready. So that's that's kind of a new deal here. Uh, genetics should be pretty good on these beans and so you can spray it with Roundup and Liberty but you can't spray it with dicamba. So as Andrew's switching it over to beans he just informed me that it's his birthday so that means one thing and one thing only he wants to have happy birthday song to it. Happy birthday to you. I'm just kidding. I also said that I'd let him out at about 9 or 10 o'clock tonight that way he can go have birthday dinner. Nice boss. Well, I'm technically not even his boss. So. <laughs> Anyways, say happy birthday to Andrew. As we get ready to load up the last load here, we're going to thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll see how this plot grows throughout the year, and we'll catch you on the next video. Well, good morning, YouTube. I was going to make a YouTube video about uh, making a road trip to have a machinery purchase here, but... I didn't film any of the purchasing of it or loading it up on the trailer. So it was about a five and a half ish, almost six hour drive all the way over to basically Indiana. We're in Illinois right now. Because on the way home, Andrew decided that he wanted to stay the night in this little, some town that starts with a G. Uh, and he blew a tire on the trailer. So. He was worried about the pickup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, worried about the pickup. Uh -huh. 